Hey guys, um, sorry if I look really bad right now. I just woke up from a nap. I had a late night and a very early morning because I took Coco to um, the vets for her second set of shots, so I had to get up early. I'm only running off of like a few hours of sleep. And she is running around like a maniac, of course. Um, so I'm just holding on to her because she's like getting into everything. So, as you can tell by the title, um, I wanted to share a trick with you guys. Um, you may or may not have known this. Um, I read this in a makeup book that I got. Um, it's called Makeup is Art. I can't remember who it's by, but I put it in my May Favorites. Um, it's the black one with the really intense face on the front of it. Um, so, what you are to do is you're supposed to take mostly um, a tinted moisturizer. So my favorite, and the only one I actually have, <laughs> so I can't really say it's my favorite, um, is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Tinted Moisturizer <laughs> and Fair. And oh my god, dog, what are you doing? Come here. Come here. You want to say hi to everyone? No? Okay. And <laughs> you're supposed to take um, probably 80% of the tinted moisturizer um, with a foundation. Um, my favorite to use is NARS Sheer Glow, only because it's a really good coverage um, on its own, but it also, just by putting a touch of that with this, um, it really adds, um, and your face actually does look completely flawless, and I'm not just saying that, um, because I think I get a better result with doing this trick than I do with, um, just doing my foundation and my concealer normally. And dog, stop trying to eat everything. Jeez. Um, <laughs> I keep looking around. She's like nibbling on something. And half of the things are wires. So we don't want that. What are you doing, you crazy dog? She just woke up too. So she's kind of hyper now. Which isn't very good. But I'll live. So yeah. Um, I just take a little bit of like just a squeeze. Because I really love this stuff. Um, and I'm not just saying that because it's the only one I've tried, but I actually really, really like this tinted moisturizer. Um, it's actually really good. Um, and I get a good coverage with it on its own. So, um, this really just kicks it up a notch. Um, you can, and I'm not just saying use Nurse Sheer Glow, um, because it's great, but it, it is very expensive. And I wouldn't have been able to buy this on my own if it wasn't for the help of Christmas money that everyone else in my family got me because this was like 60 bucks. I've also used it with my Revlon Color Stay. I've used it with my MAC uh, Studio Finish Foundation. I've used it this trick with just about anything. And if I want a lighter look, because this is my lightest foundation, because you can see it's really, really light, um, then I just go for that. And I normally really like being really fair skinned. I don't know why. I'd rather have that than a touch of color. Um, so that's just what I go for. Um, but it also looks really, really good at the Revlon Color Stay, this trick. Um, so try it out. Uh, if you have a tinted moisturizer, if not, I recommend um, picking up the Hard Candy Sheer Envy. Uh, I got this for seven, eight bucks, Walmart. Really good, not really investment. Um, but I just really, really like um, how it looks. If you want to see a demo on it, then um, leave a comment, um, comment on my profile, message me, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, it's super easy. Um, I use a pea size amount of this. Um, I Because this doesn't have a pump, you just have to pour it. Um, I do like a little squeeze so I have like that much and then I have like a little drop of my actual foundation and yeah come here and yeah so and yeah so it's very simple um very easy I love the way it looks it's a great 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 uh coverage um and it just makes your skin look absolutely flawless um and I that's always my favorite part because I have a really hard time um, making my skin look that good. Um, so how do how I apply it, it it's up to everyone really um, how you want to do it but m my preference 
is mixing them on my hand, on my clean hand, I always apply it right here. And then I just mix it with my fingers and then I just do circular motions on my face. And then I blend into the neck, into the hairline, just like I would applying any normal, just foundation. Um, uh, so yeah, I like it best when you use your hands. It looks a lot better than with a brush. It just looks more airbrushed, I guess, when you use your hands as opposed to a brush. Um, but really that's up to you. Um, also, you could use a primer, but you really don't need one. Um, mine's hydrating, but since you're mostly using a tinted moisturizer anyways, it is a moisturizer. So, um, it's really not that needed. Um, but if you have super, 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 super dry skin, I would say apply it. Um, but... Even when I do this, I hard I just wash my face and pretty much put that on because it's a moisturizer. I don't really need to put two moisturizers on unless it's really hot outside. Then I put one on with um, an SPF. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you guys because um, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to probably try and do a tutorial up. For later tonight it all depends on how the dog's acting if she's sleeping if she's really hyper then there's no way i can do it um but yeah um other than that um i hope you all have a really good day and i will talk to you soon bye bye oh